Good morning, folks. We've got a lot of news to hit today. Weather, seismic risk, a little laugh, solar physics, cosmology, and the polar drift, the axis tilt of Earth. Let's get started with our star at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours were very quiet once again. Still no sunspots, which means no solar flares. Plasma filaments are stable, and so we look to the solar wind. The stream continues to weaken, which is driving those cosmic ray health alerts you received yesterday and this morning through the app. Phi angle up in blue tried to nudge down a couple of times, but until we get a more sustained flow around 180 degrees, the IMF is feeding from Earth back to the sun. When that changes, it will indicate that the magnetic turbulence from the corona holes and their kinetic alpha waves are interacting with the planet more severely and the seismic risk will be highest. That's expected today. Let's go to the weather where this thin convergence line charging across the states last night dropped severe weather and probably some tornadoes will be confirmed in Minnesota. The line of lightning stretched more than 1,500 miles. Let's go next to a study making the claim that if the temperature rises in Antarctica for thousands of years, the ice will melt. Well, uh, yeah, I think that's how it would work. How about some real science? Differential rotation on sun-like stars. Our sun rotates once every 28 days or so, but the poles take about 30 days while the equatorial region can spin in as little as 25. They have discovered, however, that many sun-like stars actually have equatorial speeds twice that of their polar regions. That takes our concept of differential rotation and runs right off a cliff. It creates significant problems for how their physics attempt to explain the processes driving the rotation variation. Up next... Astronomers looking at shots of a very distant galaxy have noticed that material is flying in towards the galactic center at up to 30% of the speed of light. To see so far into the cosmos usually just provides a simple snapshot in cosmic time. But with things moving this quickly around an active nucleus, we do get the chance to actually detect it with multiple observations. Last but not least, New interactive feature on the polar wander, the actual axis drift motion of the planet. What's interesting is they say it's not just glacial rebound that tilts the Earth, but also Greenland ice loss and mantle convection. Now mainstream science forecasts major ice loss upcoming, and the cosmic ray modern maximum could already be affecting the mantle. There is no way to know if they're going to push the same direction or counteract one another, just a little FYI, good to know they're seeing more ways that can bring about a more rapid tilt than the slow one Earth sets today. Folks, the Awake event of the year has less than 100 tickets remaining, past community favorites, the premiere of Dr. Tinsley's conference presentations, tons of different topics, and time for engagement. It is about that time I remind you that I can't wait to shake your hand in the desert. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.